So in this video, we're gonna check out the best assets for Unity 2019. These are mainly going to be my favorites mixed with the ones that you guys have suggested quite often in our community and Discord server and comment section of our videos and stuff like that. So if you feel like I miss including your favorite assets, make sure to comment down below what assets are in your favorite list. And also this video is brought to you by PVS Studio. PVS Studio is a tool used for bug detection in codes that are written in C, C++, and C Sharp. PVS Studio performs static code analysis and generates a report that helps you find and fix bugs. It's also very useful for finding misprints and copy-paste errors. My favorite part about PVS Studio is that it's actively being updated as the team is always monitoring new trends in programming and working hard on further development of the analyzer. The new version of the analyzer also supports Java, which is widely used in development today as most of you might already know. Make sure to check out PVS Studio through the links in the description as their tool is an essential for me in development and I can stand behind their team's hard work to bring all these updates to life. So thank you so much PVS Studio for sponsoring this video and I would also like to thank all of our patrons Ruchis Stance, Kupla, Flu Joey, Academy of Games.com, Terrorrift.com, John Funnel Grid, Couch Ferret, Glasswell Entertainment, and Beard or Die. Thanks to your support on Patreon, I'm able to make more videos. All right, so with that being said, here are some top assets of Unity in 2019. And at number one, we have an asset called CTAA or Cinematic Temporal Anti-Aliasing. CTAA is a powerful temporal super sampling and anti-aliasing solution by Livenda. I've used this tool many times in my speed level design videos before, and it can be bought on the asset store for 67 euros. With a single click, CTAA enables all of its users to achieve next generation cinematic render quality results in real time. We can use it to reduce and eliminate aliasing from specular highlights and bright pixels, especially when using post effects such as bloom or depth of field, including aliasing on alpha tested edges. Being a temporal process, meaning time-based, new pixel data is gathered from past and extrapolated future frames for final reconstruction based on velocity information. Performance is approximately equivalent to standard FXAA. As I mentioned earlier, I've used this many times in my speed level design videos to eliminate those pixelated edges, and it's worked out really well so far. It also supports post-processing stack v2, so version 2, the latest version, and it also works with with the forward and deferred rendering paths in Unity just fine. And now moving over to number two, we have Rome Fantasy Pack 2. Rome Fantasy Pack 2 is a continuation to the Rome Fantasy Pack 1. Although this is its own pack in a way, I still suggest you to check out the first one in the series too if you're interested in this art style. Anyway, this is a pack released by Quantum Theory and it's available for 76 euros. Rome Fantasy Pack 2 brings classical Roman exteriors and interiors to your AAA projects. We can use it to construct Roman temples and other exteriors from a bevy of modular prefabs and props such as Ionic and Corinthian columns, statues, elegantly carved friezes, and more. We can also detail them further with an exhaustive list of options for their interior, including friezes, brass decor, even fresco paintings. Of course, they also mentioned that this can be combined with the first pack in the series for a fuller effect. This pack also features high quality materials, amplify shaders, extensive modularity with walls, doors, roofs, stairs, and more, and artifact free normal mapped objects. This pack is quite obviously targeted to reach AAA quality in visuals, and it does a great job at that. And moving on to number three, we have Aura 2. Now, Aura 2 is a volumetric lighting and fog solution for Unity. This is actually the sequel to the famous asset Aura, and this one comes with a bunch of new features and extensive support, as the first one is about to go deprecated soon. Aura 2 is released by Raphael Ernelston, I probably butchered that name, and is available for 42 euros. Aura 2 simulates the illumination of the microparticles that are present in the environment, but too small to be visible to the eye and the camera. It brings state-of-the-art volumetric lighting system to Unity, which is the same rendering technique used in the latest high-end games like Tomb Raider, God of War, Red Dead Redemption 2, and so on. 
It also supports all types of light shapes in Unity and has full shadows and cookies support, features volumes injection, has ambience presets for one-click kickstarts, multiple camera support, real-time preview in the editor, and so much more. And now at number four, we have Magic Slashes FX. Magic Slashes FX is a pack of particle effects for your action games. This is made and published by Ordos and is available for just 16 euros. Magic Slashes supports all platforms including PC, consoles, mobile, VR, and so on, and you also get 12 different slash effects which you can customize. Magic Slashes also supports the two render pipeline templates in Unity, so the High Definition Render Pipeline or HDRP, and the Lightweight Render Pipeline which is more mobile oriented. So you can simply open the folder, drag and drop your particles into your scene, and they will work out of the box. You also get a demo scene with a small village characters, animation, and audio included, which you can use just like the particles themselves. And moving on to number five, we have Gaia. And Gaia is probably one of the most popular assets of all time. But you know what? I'm still going to cover it because if I don't, there will be comments. <laughs> so Gaia is an artist-friendly, all-in-one terrain and scene generation system, which is created by Procedural Worlds. It's available on the asset store for 69 euros. And Gaia allows you to create beautiful worlds as you leverage the latest procedural content generation techniques. You have the flexibility to either go fully procedural and let Gaia take the workload, or fully manual if you want full control, or somewhere in between. It also supports easy and fast terraforming, texturing, planting, and full scene creation. Gaia also comes with sample assets that are pretty quality rich to have you up and running in just minutes. It's also fully customizable, so you can easily create your own look and feel. And moving on to number six, we have Meadow Environment. Now, Meadow Environment is a dynamic nature pack created by Nature Manufacturer. This was the pack that I used in my previous video where I made the beginner's guide to reflection probes in Unity, and a lot of people were asking what this asset pack was, giving compliments to the environment. So here you go. This is the pack, and this pack is on the asset store for 45 euros. Meadow Environment is one of few environment packs that looks so good and also supports the built in render pipeline, the lightweight render pipeline, and HDRP or the high definition render pipeline. This pack is a huge library of 100% scanned assets that are carefully optimized at last and uses LOD or leave, lev <laughs> level of detail. <laughs> level of detail. <laughs> In this pack, I was able to find so much content, and not only is the quantity very high up, but the quality and the visuals of the assets included are actually crazy for this price. I even use this for speed level design video which was sponsored by nature manufacturer back in the day by the way but i was already used to the content in this pack as i started using it as soon as it was published and i'm just as happy now using it as i was back then it's one of those packs where i can suggest you to strongly check it out just because it is way too awesome for the cheap price tag that it has and now finally, at number seven, we have Amplify Imposters Beta. So Amplify Imposters is one of the assets that I've been looking forward to so much this year, which is now finally available in beta. It's made by Amplify Creations, who also made the assets like Amplify Colors and various other post-processing effects. And this one is available now for 54 euros. I've been looking forward to this one so much because they showed me this asset when I met them in, in Unite Berlin back in 2018 on their booth and it blew me away. This is used to basically optimize your projects with ease by using next generation billboard imposters. For those of you who don't know what imposters are, they actually describe this. They're basically camera facing quads that replace complex geometry by rendering a fake 3D representation of an object. So say if you have this super complex model that you wish to reuse in your scene farther away from the camera, right? But you don't want to use something so costly on the performance, you can simply create an imposter of it, which is far easier to render than the original object, which is pretty pricey. The main features of this asset is that you can create imposters with a single click. It's also flexible, so 
imposters can be moved, rotated, scaled, receive and cast shadows, intersect other objects or imposters, and they can be used with LOD group or any other third-party LOD system. This is also modern, making full use of GPU-based instancing. And obviously, as per usual, all of the assets that I listed here are going to be linked in the description. All right, so those were seven of my favorite assets of 2019 start, let's say that. So now I wanna hear what assets are in your favorites list. So let me know along with everyone else watching this video by simply leaving a comment down below. We all want some new assets to use and we all know that usually some of the best suggestions come from you guys, the community. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos like this one, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show some support and hit the subscribe button below the video to stay up to tune for new content because we're gonna have a bunch of new videos coming up soon so also turn on the bell notification icon or whatever it's called basically the notification system in unity uh in unity wow really that moment when unity basically becomes your life so you start saying unity instead of youtube <laughs> hashtag relatable anyway turn on that bell icon to stay up to tune for new content so you get notified um also we have a discord server for those of you who didn't know it's discord.gg forward slash polyrealm and there's also a link to it in the description Join it because we're 10,000 members. We're, I think we're reaching 10,500 people now, which is freaking insane. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not saying too much. But yeah, basically, we're a whole bunch of like-minded people, and we just like to chat, meme, um, complain about YouTube, literally anything you can imagine. Um, a lot of memes, by the way, just be sure you're aware of that. And we also talk a lot about Unity and stuff like that, game development in general. So just feel free to join and check it out for yourself. And now, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed your time watching this. As per usual, I'm going to be super active in the comments section and in our discord server so i hope to see you guys there have a good night guys and peace out